My three sons of Frankenstein will not be seen today because we're afraid they've grown up. In its place, we present the following program. Due to the immature theme of the show, no viewer discretion is advised. I hate this house so much. They have that big, ugly, disgusting dog in there. Here's a page. Thank you. See what I mean? What a dog. Let's get out of here. studio. I don't know my lines. I can't go on. Come on, Christine. You do this every week. Oh, now my stomach is cramping. Will you stop your belly aching and read this? We're all gonna die. Of course we're all gonna die, Christine. Someday, and that's life. You don't seem too worried. Christine, it's only a television show. Oh, I can't take it. Come on. You got nothing to be afraid of. Just calm down. Here, take this. Read this. And here's your cue. Hi, and welcome to You Can't Do That on Television. Today we confidently bring you a show about fears and growing up. Class! Class! The word today is phobia. Now, does anyone know how to spell phobia? Oh, I just... Oh, sir, Lisa. Capital P-H-O-B-I-A. No. No. It's on the... It's on the board. Phobia means fear. Now, we all have different fears, or phobias, if you prefer. Does anyone know what I mean by claustrophobia? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lisa. Oh, if you're claws. <laughs> no, it isn't. It is. No. I think claustrophobia is the fear of closets. Oh. No, no, no. Wait a minute. How about acrophobia? Oh, I know that one. Christine. It's the fear of acrobat. <laughs> it's not funny. It is not. Does anyone know what I mean when I say Hydrophobia. Oh, sir, sir, I know. Sir, sir. Kevin, that's the fear of water, sir. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I hope you're not hydrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, learning about those phobias in class today sure was neat. Yeah. How many could you name on the test afterwards? Not very many. I had to make up a few. Like what? Um, oh, I made up barthophobia. Uh, the fear of eating hamburgers. <laughs> You're right. Okay, um, zero phobia. The fear of Right. Okay, what about this one? Glupophobia. Gee, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the fear of green slime. Yeah, I was afraid of that. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time to get up for school. Come on. Come on. That's it. Ready for school? I don't want to go to school. I hate it. The torture, the constant torture. Oh, now, Dudley, you listen to me. Listen to this valuable piece of advice. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Fear itself? Don't say that. Why not, dear? Albert feared the school bully. I spilled this chocolate milk yesterday in the cafeteria. You're absolutely right. There is nothing to fear but fear himself. Now get this. <laughs> Hi, now, Lisa, open up. Oh, uh, there. Well, what's the trouble? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Afraid of.
skeletons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. I'm, I'm afraid. Afraid of the dark. Oh. I'm, I'm afraid. Ah, afraid of snakes. No. No? Doc, I'm, I'm afraid that I can't pay you. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. Want some popcorn? No way. What's this? Now they're eating something. Wait, on the plate. Are those Brussels sprouts? Oh, no. Gosh, want to eat one. Oh, this is too scary. <laughs> well, it's official. My doctor told me I have a lot of fears to overcome. Well, what are they? Well, okay, first of all, there's geritolophobia, which is the fear of growing old. I also have responsophobia. That's the fear of growing into an adult. I also have fatigophobia, which is the fear of growing tired. Those are a lot of fears to overcome, but I can see you don't suffer from grossetubophobia. Grossetubophobia? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fear of growing out. <laughs> oh, hey, that's something we have in common. <laughs> mommy, Mommy, help! My chair, this is not the thing, my chair! <laughs> Oh, Dougie, aren't you ashamed of yourself? It's nothing but a ferocious monster. <laughs> I thought it was a pair of pants all bent and rumpled. I can't stand wearing rumpled pants. Oh, <laughs> you all know that today's show is about fears and growing up. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of growing up or growing up afraid. And I'm... What is that? It's just a masker thing. Just a mouse? Well, yeah. Lisa, just keep that mouse away from me. I really hate mice. I didn't know you were an elephant. Look, look, I might have guessed. Isn't that funny how people often turn out to be the opposite of what they say they are? Why don't I watch some opposite sketches? Okay, now, for your homework tonight, class, I want you to take pages 12 through 356 of the complete works of William Shakespeare and make paper airplanes. Okay, no, 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 no. All right, that's it. That's it. That's just... You're, you're going home early. No way! That's it. You can it right now. And don't come back for a week. Ace... What's going on here? Martin here won't let me watch the opera. That's right, Mum. The Dukes of Hazzard are on the other channel, and Kevin here wants to watch Rigoletto. Is that so, Kevin? Yes. Now look, boys, how many times have I told you about junk TV and culture TV and being selective about what to watch? Stop it. I don't want you watching any more of that worthwhile television. Now, you turn to the Dukes of Hazard this minute. Uh -huh. Well, can I read Shakespeare's sonnets instead? No, you're going to sit there and watch them Duke boys. <laughs> Barf! Hmm? What's in this burger? Number one, prime red brand beef, freshly ground. Fresh beef? Oh, oh, gross. Why don't you put cats in them like everyone else does? Put a beautiful, sweet little pussy cat in my burger mix. Oh, that's disgusting. We use nothing but the finest of ingredients. Oh, it's gross. Uh-oh. Well, that does it. <clears throat> I'm going to have to give you the strap. Oh, but sir... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be given the strap. But please, sir, oh, not the strap. Come on. Take it like a man. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with it? I don't know. Take it home, I suppose. I it home. I've always been given a strap. Come to me with your truck. You know, when you do a TV show, you tend to develop a number of phobias, especially when you have to try and remember your lines, like I'm doing right now, because sometimes you'll forget some of the teapots. <laughs> See, there you go. What I meant to say is sometimes you'll forget some of the whips. No. No, okay, I meant to say the words. Sometimes you'll forget the words, and you'll leave out an important cabbage. 
Forget it. Let's just go on to the next cream pie. <laughs> okay, Dougie, what's your problem? I have an upset stomach. And what upset your stomach? I can't even imagine that long a time. Oh, happy days are here again. Congratulate me, Christine. I have just signed a seven-year contract to work on this show. Oh, happy days. Oh, it started already. <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa, I must say that Kevin here is a cut above the boys the usually date. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, captain of the school football team, is that true, son? Yes, sir. Excuse me, I have to go powder my nose. Yeah, I spent an hour powdering your nose before he came. And, uh, when a lady says she's going to powder her nose, that's really just a polite way of saying she has to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know, Kevin, she still powders her nose in bed, too. <laughs> Find a nice home for you here. There are kids in this house, I know. Hi. Hi. A free gift from Barth's Burglary. There you are. That's for you. Let go. Oh, oh wait, Barth, don't you need this cap? Uh, no, no. We are uh, reducing inventory. Cats out it next week. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I can't cook. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. Okay, everybody on the set for the next cream pie. <laughs> God. Oh, no, Ross, you mean the next sketch. See, that's malapropophobia. I used to have that. It's when you mean to say a certain thing, like the next sketch, but you end up saying something else. No, I mean the next cream pie. Oh, I see, I get it. I'm supposed to turn back to you, and you're going to hit me in the face with a cream pie. No. You see, Moose, I suffer from veritophobia, which is a fear of having to tell the truth. Mm. Mm. I suffer from a great fear that I'm going to inflict great pain on one of my co-workers. Bye. I also suffer from a fear that this is going to absorb through my skin and I'm going to gain five pounds. <laughs> the only grown-ups on this show. I feel I can offer some valuable advice to you kids growing up. Christine, you are not a grown-up. I'm a more grown-up than you are. I'm not. I am too. You are 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 not. I am too. Well, Christine is behaving like a child. Let's have a look at some sketches on growing up. Ready? Aim. Wait, stop the excuse. What is it? Oh, what is it this time? Don't you think I'm too young to see this violence on TV? Violence on TV? Yeah, you're right. Here, hold this. There. Okay. Now you won't see it. Okay? Uh, ready? Hit! Uh, young lady, I said lights out. Now you can study in the morning. Um, gee, Dad. School is so much work, I can't wait to graduate. Why? Well, so that I can show off that I'm a scientist at my school reunion. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, I never go to my school reunions anymore, Vanessa. Why is that, Dad? Well, because uh, my old classmates are all fat and bald and old. I can't recognize them anymore. <laughs> Come on, right? So... Oh. <laughs> Dougie, I have some wonderful news for you, dear. You know your big sister in Hamtramck, Michigan? She's going to have a baby. Wow, that's great. Yes, and you know what that makes you, don't you? What does it make me? Well, it makes you an uncle, dear. Oh, no. 
that's terrible. What am I going to do? What will all the kids think? What do you mean? Well, I'm only six years old. I'm too young to marry an aunt. You're uh, small enough. Hey, we. <laughs> the hardest thing about growing up, I mean, now that I've been through it all and I'm an adult now, was... Stop for a sec. What's wrong, Ross? Uh, never mind. No, no, here. Well, you see, Christine, I, um, I don't know, I'm sort of, um... Come on. Well, you see, at my age, Christine, I, I'm afraid, uh... Afraid of what? All right. I'm afraid of failure. <laughs> Come on, Ross. Don't be ridiculous. You don't have to be afraid of becoming a failure. I don't? No, you're already a failure. <laughs> I understand you have a cold feet, Dougie. Yes, these chains are way too short. My feet don't even touch the ground. All right, that will be taken care of as you grow down. That's why as I grow up. No, no, as your feet grow down to touch the ground. <laughs> See you around, shorty. <laughs> What's wrong, dear? You wouldn't understand, Mom. Oh, try me, Lisa. A trouble shared is a trouble halved. But I know you won't understand. Now, Lisa, I used to think that my mother wouldn't understand, but I know now that had I listened to her and told her my troubles, I would have felt much better. Oh, okay. My jingle fender, Amanda. My you're right, dear. I don't understand. Oh, there, there. Delch! When you're through with that, wash the floors, take out the garbage. Oh, and don't forget to polish the cat. Yes, Mr. Buster. Still, just why do you put up with him? Why do you work here? Oh, one day I want to be just like Mr. Burr. I want to be a great hamburger cook. Well, make up your mind. Do you want to be a great hamburger cook, or do you want to be like Barb? I heard that. You know what's wrong with adults? They're confused. I mean, whenever you're acting like a kid, they tell you to grow up. And then when you do grow up, they wish you were a kid again. I mean, if adults are that confused, I think we should find out what some sensible kids think about growing up. I want to be a doctor because it, it sounds like an interesting business. I like to be a doctor, but I don't like all the, the inoperating and stuff like that, so I just don't stay away from blood and stuff. I don't want to be, uh, like a doctor because I don't like blood or anything. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I have a lot of things in my mind. I want to be a newscaster because I love world problems. I want to be a doctor. I love helping people and a singer. I, I want to be rich. <laughs> but I like to just develop more slowly and enjoy my childhood days before I get too old. There are no good things about growing up. Tell me the bad things about growing up. Well, you get older and you die sooner and I'm scared <laughs> of dying, so... I'd probably just want to have fun growing up. Me too. You mean you're not afraid of anything? Well, sometimes when I go to bed, I think there's a ghost behind my bed. Um, alcohol and sex. Well, when I was little, I used to be scared of the dark and... I used to be scared of ghosts when I saw scary TV shows, and I used to not want to go in my basement. How come you're not afraid of them anymore? Because I know there's the thing to be scared of in the dark, and I know there's no such thing as ghosts, and I like my basement. I'm looking forward to growing up because it's new challenges in life. <laughs> Kevin, haven't you ever seriously considered the future? What do you mean? Like, don't you ever fear growing old, becoming baggy-eyed, bald, and paunchy? Maybe even lifeless. No, that's stupid. Oh. <gasps> no, no, please. I don't want to grow old like him. Oh, please don't let me grow old. Kevin, Ross is only 20. Oh, no, no, please. Kevin, there's nothing to fear. Give me my toy. Give that to me. It's mine. All right, no. you two. Now, this is no way to settle an argument. He started it. No, it was you. Cut it out. <laughs> now... Can't the two of you just settle this like adults? Okay. You'll be here if you want a lawyer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'll bad. sue you for every penny you have. I'll take you to the highest of the land. Oh, come on, Bob. Where's my drink? Oh, yeah, I ordered the cow and now we're going to I want my frog legs. I need a barf 
should have some students working here. I'm going to prove his service. Bob yeah. has lots of students here. Really? Well, yeah, he gets a new student every day. You're pulling my leg. Well, how can we never see them then? Yeah. Who do you think's in the burgers? <laughs> I heard that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Doctor, I'm so worried about my son. Well, he's only six years old. Is an appendix operation really necessary? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. All right. Put back your father's appendix this instant, or there will be no television for a week. <laughs> oh. Oh, dang, Nabbit. Christine, could you give me a hand here? I'm trying to remove the top from this bottle of hair tonic. Sure. <laughs> hair restorer, Ross? Uh, that's probably a good idea. Wait a minute. It's not for me. It's for a friend. Ah. Well, it'll take years to grow. I mean, you may as well just buy a wig. For him. Are you kidding? That is the fastest growing hair restorer in the world. Oh, I can't get it open. I'll try my teeth. Ah. Uh, oh. Mm. Ah. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Clark. Hey, wait a minute. Take off the wall. Come on, kids. Hold it. Just a minute. Will you please cooperate? Now, I want you to sit still and then smile. Because, you know, when you're growing up, you're going to look at this class photo and you're going to say, There's little Kevin. He's now a brain surgeon. <laughs> and there's Lisa. She now trains whales. <laughs> there's Christine. She's a... There's teacher. He's dead. <laughs> Ready? Aim! Wait, stop the execution. Oh, what is... <laughs> there you are. What is it this time? How old do you have to be in this country to have bullets in your possession? Um, 18. Well, I'm only six. Well, you haven't got no bullets in your possession. No, <laughs> bullets in his possession. Ready? Aim! What? 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 what, what? <laughs> Look, we got to get this execution over with. But if you shoot me, then I will have bullets, won't I? Well, <laughs> yes, I, I suppose so. Yeah. Then I'd be break the law. And you don't want me to break the law, do you? No, I don't want you to break the law. Amigos! It's about time. Copy break! Um, hey, listen, you, you want a copy? I'd rather have milk and cookies. Oh, that's okay. Milk and cookies for sure. You know, I feel I've grown up a lot during this show. I've gotten over all my childhood fears. Oh, no. But now I feel a new one developing. I'm afraid we're out of time. That on television has been a frighteningly adult production. Kevin, I thought you said that things would jump right out of the screen. Oh, well, you don't have your 3D glasses on yet. <laughs> oh, oh, that guy is going to throw out a spear. Oh, right through me. Oh, <laughs> What a bit, Pop. That wasn't scary at all. Let's get out of here. You look real to me. 